My name is Chandra Jones. I'm a second year PhD student here at the Harvard Graduate School of Education, and my concentration is Human Development, Learning and Teaching, or HDLT. I'm also a wife and a mom of three kids, ages 11, 9, and 5 years, and we all made the move to Cambridge for the PhD program. I get a lot of questions from prospective students about coming in with families, and in the end, I tell them all the same thing, which is that you definitely can do it. The nice thing about being here at Harvard is that there are a lot of resources, so you really can balance both your family life and your student life with a little help. HGSE does a lot to include families throughout your time here. My name is Eddie Kim. I'm a fourth year PhD student at the Education School with a concentration in Education Policy and Program Evaluation. One of the requirements for being part of the program is to serve as a teaching fellow for some of the courses here. This year, I am a teaching fellow for the introductory quantitative sequences for first year PhD students and master's students. A teaching fellowship means that you're part of the teaching team for a course that can include a variety of responsibilities like preparing problem sets, teaching sections, discussing things with students, just trying to help to make sure that the students are understanding the material better. My name is Andrew Westover and I'm in the CIS concentration, Culture, Institutions and Society. I chose this program in part because it is duly housed in both the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences and Harvard's Graduate School of Education. Because my work is interdisciplinary, I incorporate philosophy, religious studies, anthropology. This was a school that was willing to support me across those disciplines as I focused on education. I've been able to work with professors across Harvard schools. I've been able to have a fellowship outside of the ed school, but that still directly relates to my work. And that level of synergy, both academically and professionally, has opened doors for me that I frankly didn't expect. In the PhD program here, everyone has a faculty advisor. We find that time to connect, to talk about everything from benchmarks and milestones that are a part of how you're evaluated as a student, as well as course selection and fellowship applications that I'm thinking about pursuing, letters of recommendation, and even professional opportunities that she's identified for me. One of the unique things about guidance from the HGSC faculty is that it's really tailored to you and your interests and your pursuits. Diversity is super important for research. Diversity means that we get the different perspectives, the new fresh ideas on old problems, and that's what pushes research forward. One of the great things about being a PhD student is, in some ways, it's an opportunity to explore possible professions. So for me, that's working as a teaching fellow for classes, and that's also working outside. Last summer, I was able to work for the District of Columbia Public Schools and help them rewrite their curriculum for the visual arts from K to 12. These are the sorts of opportunities that I'm not sure I would have found elsewhere. I think the most exciting part about my program was this moment when I realized I'd had a question that everyone was interested in, but no one had an answer to. Every professor I approached about whether or not someone had answered this replied, not yet, but what about you? Do you want to do it? I'm really passionate about serving students, specifically students in college, and doing that on a grand scale so that I'm working with thousands of students. Being here at Harvard's Graduate School of Education really positions me to do that, not only in the training, but in the network and in the research skill development that I'm getting while I'm here. One of the things I appreciate about the program is that it allows us to do genuinely interdisciplinary work. Rather than asking students to define themselves as a statistician or a philosopher. We're able to come in and say, these are the questions I have, and I want to ask these broadly. 